I told you guys about some new stuff that was coming your way. This project was for my friend Josh. He lives down in Utah and he hooked me up with a video card and in exchange for that video card, I hooked him up with some animation because he's going to be starting his own channel. When he does actually release some content, I will forward it to you guys to check out. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be reviewing some computer hardware and some camera hardware, things like that. Just uh, an interesting channel to check out if you ever want to. And he has a really good rig set up. He has really good camera gear and he has really good computer gear. And he is all he knows all things computer. So he was actually the one who set me up with a video card upgrade as well as helping me just like as IT support pretty much as I was installing everything. So I'm just going to walk through the process on, uh, you know, my creative process surrounding his project. So he basically gave me a a template to work with and he said basically here's the colors that I like here's the graphic that I'm working with but none of it was vector based and so I had to develop basically a tracing of the letters uh, that he gave me and I was able to trace them in Illustrator and then as I traced them I was thinking you know I, I can probably alter this in a couple of cool ways I started with stacking the letters and kind of putting them nice and snugly together because I was thinking he's a computer guy he likes building computers it would be kind of cool to stack these letters up together in a way that made sense that like would make everything feel snug, kind of like it does in a computer setting where uh, when I was, you know, building out my computer and having him help me, um, I, you know, everything fits so tightly and, and snugly, you know, in order to get to one piece, you have to move this piece out of the way and, you know, everything stacks together. And so I kind of had that in mind. And as I was developing it, as I was uh, stacking the letters, I started messing with the E, extending into the O, and I realized that that extension into the O m made the O kind of look like a power button. And so I thought, he works with computers and let's incorporate that kind of theme. You know, let's uh, see if we can get the power button in here. Things just kept on developing and I felt like I got a good landing spot where I was like, okay, this, this logo looks pretty good. It's uh, it's reading well, and it's it look it says pure Josh, but it, it it's nice and snug. Everything's nice and snug, and you got the power button it thrown in there, and so it kind of has a tech, techy vibe. And he didn't want things to be too busy, too fancy, or anything like that. He just want he liked the basic minimalist presentation. And so, with that in mind, I thought going into the animation process, I thought. Okay, we should keep things neat, neat and tidy and simple, but at the same time, let's try to make it have have a little bit of flair. And so I started with the power button. I just like obviously when you boot, you know, a computer, you hit the power button to start. And so I thought let's start with a black screen and let's swipe down that little mark of the uh, power button and and inflate the uh, the circle around it and then do a little click, you know, when when it turns on and then boom, you got that green light that that comes on uh, behind it and I'm using the same green that he gave me and what I did is like I I worked backwards like I made the power button do its thing but then th I worked in reverse because I had to land on the pure Josh part so I I formed all the letters with different solid layers uh, using the vectors from Illustrator I m to create masks essentially and then for I basically was like thinking how can I animate each thing in and I thought the H you know let's start with the H and it kind of looks like it would be able to snap into something and so I kind of I bring things down and then it comes to a slow down and then it pops in again I was trying to incorporate that kind of computer theme and so I'm, I'm basically forming the a theme here where Josh is all about tech he's all about computers he's all about building things and I just thought let's have all of these letters snap in and like the s kind of cords out like a wire or something being plugged in and let's have everything snap together as though it were being built right in front of us in real time and that's how that animation was built out you know and it didn't take me too long to animate because it just kind of flowed and make made sense the whole time and after that i was like okay how am i gonna do sound so i went into reason I pulled up the glitch kit. Uh, there's a bunch of different glitch kits for the redrum machine. I was like, I can use all these different sound effects, you know, that are part of the glitch kit. And I thought that'd be kind of cool. So here's a couple of samples of those, those glitch noises just by themselves being played out. And me kind of, you know, I was discovering them and recording them 
and then I, I bounced each of them out as as their own separate little loop of, of noises and I thought I'm just gonna make sense of this you know and then I also took a pad I found a pad and I thought because I at the end of the animation I did like a nice little light sheen that kind of goes across the text and I thought there should be some sort of like uh, like some really uh, a major seven chord or something and so I did a major seven F I, I didn't F7 F just made the the most sense to me you know <laughs> I am deliberate in my chord choice but I don't always deliberately choose the key signature I just kind of go by feel and the F7 sounded right at the time I'm pretty sure Josh is gonna be doing some different music over it so he might fade that out for his final bit but you know this this made the most sense to me when I did it and so I made that then I I took all the sound that I bounced and I brought it into audition and audition is perfect for sound mixing because uh, you can you could bring in video you can go not just frame for frame but you can go like like fractions of a millisecond you know and so you can really really dial in the timing of everything I, I started at the end with the chord and then I went to the beginning and just Wherever I saw some sort of motion or action, I just started plugging things in and matching things up. I was able to get a complete beginning to end hit on every single motion. And I think he's got to turn things down. I gave him a full, kind of a full blast mix. Everything's kind of turned up pretty loud. But I, I think it turned out cool because it's still, it's simplistic in its, in its presentation. And yet it still feels detailed, which I was going for. I really like getting into the details, especially when it comes to sound design, because I feel like animation is only good when there's proper sound to sync up with it. When there's sound that kind of syncs up with it, it breathes a lot of life into the animation. And so it goes from, oh, that's interesting to, oh, wow, that's really cool. Every, every single motion and action has an impact tied to a sound. Whereas when you just, if I just hand him an animation that he just plays music under, it wouldn't feel as lively. It wouldn't feel as organic. It would just feel like especially if he just had music under it with no sound effects or anything, it would feel a little bit empty. It would feel a little bit void. And so that's, uh, that's it. So, <laughs> and, and here's what I ended up with. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's, that's what I do. You know, this is one of the things that I do. I like to do animation. I've done a lot of lots of animation for different companies, different people. If you need this kind of stuff, if you like this kind of stuff, I'm going to continue to share it. I don't only do reaction videos. I'm going to be doing tutorials. I'm going to do explainer videos. I'm going to do tons of different things that I want to share on my on my channel because I can do a lot of different things. If you need this kind of work, I would love to work with you and you can hire me if you need. If whatever you guys need, whatever you guys want to do, let me know and uh, we can we can work together and we can figure things out and let's make things happen uh, because this is the kind of stuff that I love to do and more I love doing character animation I love doing music I love doing just tons of different stuff I'm a very creative artist that has a lot to share and I work really well independently let's do some stuff let's write some music let's create some animation let's create some video let's create some logos let's 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 get busy let's do some art stuff <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm about I'm about just all things media that's about it. I just wanted to have a little expose on Josh's bumper. He's a really, really nice guy. I'm just really, really grateful for his support with my new computer. Um, everything's working great now, and I'm really, really grateful. So <laughs> God bless the man. He's a really, really good guy, really nice guy, very detail-oriented, very, very critical, and uh, I appreciate a critical thinker, uh, especially when it comes to what kind of gear he uses. He knows more about cameras than I do. I thought I knew a lot. He educated me on a couple things, and he doesn't even use cameras that as much, so <laughs> he's just a, a very, very fast, fast learner and a quick thinker and a really helpful guy. Thank you, Josh, and that's it. <laughs> I don't know how to end a video like this. I've never done a video like this. So my plan going forward is whenever I have a project that I'm able to share, I want to share it and I want to talk about it and I want to kind of give my thoughts on my approach and my creative process and all that stuff. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Uh, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. See you on the next Reacts video or whatever. Stay tuned. Always more content that I'm going to be producing.